Okay, so uh, I wanted to try something out a little bit. I know Nagato already made a video a while back about uh, Derriere soloing Hell Crimson Demon, uh, or Howlix on Global. And so I wanted to try and take Derriere against all three demons. Obviously we don't have Hell Demon or we don't have uh, the hell difficulty on global just yet, but I want to just go through and see if I can solo on all three of them. The only one that I'm really worried about is probably Grey Demon, but I mean, I don't know. I just thought it would be kind of a fun little video to do, or just kind of like an experiment. So, uh, yeah. I've already got my demons ready to go, and let's hop in. So, we're going to go extreme, and then it should just be Derriere on the team. <laughs> so... Um, I've already done the Howlix once, just to confirm. Um, I think we're going to do Lifesteal food. You can see I already have UR equipment for it, so that's obviously going to make it a little bit easier, but I don't think it's completely necessary. It just helps. Let's do Lifesteal food. We'll auto-eat so that way it does it. Just in case I fail any of them, I'll just keep trying over and over again. But yeah. Let's hop in and see how this goes. Okay, so obviously the first thing that's going to happen is he's, he beats us in CC, so he's going to go first. But the whole thing here is we kind of have to play this to our advantage and make sure that we can, you know, evade with level 2 buff cards whenever we need to. And then just lifesteal off of, you know, just hitting with pure damage and everything, so. Okay, 31's not too crazy, but because we're going to be getting, you know, buffs each and every card that we use, uh, we should be fine, because we'll eventually pick up a whole lot of buffs. Unless, I don't know for sure, but I don't think any of the, uh, I don't think any of the raids will, like, purge debuffs. But I could be wrong on that. If we if we do encounter that, it's going to be quite an quite an obstacle. Okay, that's pretty much what I was hoping for. We have a level three buff now, which is really nice. This should help us get through the first phase a lot faster. Okay. Normally, because the the demons have three hearts, which the, the gray demon only has two, um, and I'm <laughs> I'm pretty much just going to have to stall for time during the gray demon, so that way I can get him on the ground to hit him and then once it gets to the second phase I'll just have to ult straight away so that way I can get him on the ground to hit him more or just I guess maybe we can get lucky and kill him but uh, because we're on the first phase I feel comfortable with going ahead and ulting I don't think this will kill okay so 443k so it did kill for sure so now we pretty much just need to we need to try to beat through him and get as many stacks as we can so that way when we get to the last phase we can ult again and uh, just kill that way. Alright, I need more attack cards, but I'm, it really doesn't matter too much either way. It's just going to take us a little bit longer if we get buffs. Alright, defense increase on him. So we're going to be doing a little bit less damage now. That's okay, no big deal. He's mad today. Okay, nice. Got some attack cards, which is good. I kind of want to go ahead and pop Injection, but at the same time, maybe not. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and pop it. We're going to pop it and get the evasion going. And then uh, we'll try to lifesteal as much as we can because we'll be doing a lot of damage here. We've got the ult ready. Hopefully we can save that for the last phase. Which I guess if it gets, if it gets any, you know, any rougher than it already is. We're going to have to really worry about next phase because he's going to get his ult. We may end up needing to ult to get this phase over with, honestly. Yeah, I think we're going to have to ult. 
which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Hopefully we can get decent RNG on phase three. Yeah, I don't want him to ult us, so we're gonna go ahead and ult, get rid of this. Damage, almost a mil, so not too bad. We're gonna need to hope RNG saves us a little bit here and we can get our ult a lot faster, uh, which doesn't look like it's gonna happen for us. So let's pop this. That'll combine cards, give us a little bit more ult gauge. Okay, so we'll just use that then and get a level two. He's dealing a lot more damage. So I'm a little worried. He's got an attack increase. Hopefully, we'll be fine here. Because we'll get, we'll be, as long as we survive this turn, we'll be able to evade, which is fine, and then we should be able to ult. So, no big deal. Okay, that move's not really that bad. This move's not bad because it's an AoE. He does it again. Now we're close. We're really low. Alright, we'll pop the evasion to clear space for our ult to come in. He shouldn't be able to hurt us, which is going to be good. And then we can just ult. We should be good to go. I don't think he's going to have enough armor or anything like that to, to save himself, so we should be good here. And this is also really good if you're if you're trying to do those challenges where you need to like use just your team to solo fighting uh, any of the raids on any difficulty or whatever. Try to get Derriere if you don't already have her, and uh, you can pretty much get any of those done. Just you know grind through and unlock all of your raids for the day, and then whichever ones you need go into whatever difficulty you need to, and then uh, yeah, pretty simple. All right. So, Red Demon is down. Let me hop over to the Gray Demon and we'll get started on that. Okay, so here we are. Gray Demon, ready to go. We got our food already activated because we auto ate. And uh, this one's going to be kind of interesting. So, he only has two phases, so it, this one actually may end up going quicker. But we got to survive for three turns for him to get on the ground. Uh, so that way we can actually hit him with physical attacks. So, that's going to be kind of interesting. And. Um, we're going to need to make sure that we can ult on the second phase because I don't think we'll be able to... He, I think he only lands whenever his like meter at the bottom goes down. So, yeah, that's going to be kind of interesting as well. So, let's pop this. And then, so we've got evade, which is fine. We'll just use this attack card and then merge... Okay, so that was the move I was kind of worried about. I wasn't sure because I think that will cancel through. Um, I think that cancels through Perfect Cube, if I'm not mistaken. So. Oh, he's already on the ground. What was that two phases? Or two turns? Oh, okay. So that was a lot of damage. Ooh, this is a good. This is going to be a tough one. Um, we're gonna need to do this in ult just to su just to survive, I think. So yeah, this is gonna be a tough one. Oh, he did cancel. Oh boy. All right. <laughs> this is so bad. Unfortunate. Damn. Of course. Fuck. Okay, we got good merges. Very good merges. We didn't get another injection, though, which is unfortunate. Um, we're going to waste that because we're not going to get evasion anyway. Okay, took off the ult. That's fine. God, what's up with all these attack cards? Uh, I don't think we'll survive this. 
so it doesn't really matter. Attack related stats increased. Uh, okay, we survived. How much damage does this do? Can't be anything too crazy. Oh, so close! Why didn't I life steal? Oh no, he disabled my recovery skills. Okay, I'm deeming this impossible. He's just got too much in his kit to prevent me from doing it. Unfortunate. God, I thought that was going to be such a, like, like, even if it was super, like, RNG heavy, like, so be it, but he's got too much, too much going on. Okay, so moving into Howlix, um, I've done this quite a few times already because I keep getting bad RNG, so this one is pretty RNG dependent because you kind of need to make sure that your hand is perfect as you go into the third phase and uh, sometimes you just get screwed. So here's hoping we don't get too screwed up. Unfortunately, this was the run that I actually won and the dog started barking very heavily downstairs So it kind of ruined the whole thing and I didn't want to have to uh, keep that in so I'm doing a voiceover for the uh, Last little run right here for Halix, but uh, yeah, this one I thought was gonna be a lot more RNG dependent But it turns out after you know running it a couple times and figuring out how the strat works um, It's not nearly as hard as I thought it was uh, I was having a lot of trouble. I probably ran it like six or seven times before I got to this run and really like realized what I needed to be doing. So the whole like concept is during this first phase, he's not going to really hurt you all that much, but you can always ult if you need to. Like you can build the ult up pretty quickly on the first phase and you're not going to be dealing a whole ton of damage because you don't have a lot of attack buffs in the beginning. So build up your ult and then if you get low, just ult so that way you can life steal all of your health back up. And then once you get into the second phase, you want to make sure that you're trying to build up as much um, of the attack buffs as you can just by using your cards each turn during the first phase. Because the second phase, he's gonna uh, he, he gets an ultimate gauge, and I think it's only five five bars or whatever, like five orbs. And once he gets his ultimate gauge full, he's gonna use uh, his ult, which actually removes two of your ultimate gauge, which is kind of annoying because you need the ult like at the very beginning of the third phase or else you cannot win so all you have to do is during the first phase just keep hitting him with as much as you can so that way you're building up the attack buffs don't worry about injection too much i was so dependent on trying to make sure that i had injection ready going into phase three but it's really not that necessary as long as you're building up enough attack buffs during the, the first two phases of the fight and getting the second fight or the second phase over with quickly enough so that way he's not taking off your ult gauge then as soon as you go into the third phase you'll have the ultimate ready you'll have enough attack buffs on you to make the amplified deal you know enough damage to kill and then you're pretty much good to go from there so as you can see right here i'm going to attack for the last time during the second phase we're going to kill him right before he gets the ultimate ready to kill us or well it's not going to kill us but it'll take off the ult gauge and ruin you know we'll have to end up building up the ult again which is kind of hard to do right there at the end, but then you pop the ult at the third phase, and then boom, you can see right there. We deal 743,000 damage, and that is enough to one-shot the entire phase, which obviously secures us the win. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, I already had a sort of like an outro <laughs> prepared for the video, I guess, that I did after the recording of this, so uh, I'll cut over there and let you guys, you know, resume the video there. Okay, so unfortunately the dog was barking during that entire run, and it was the one run that actually went well, so uh, uh, I'll just voice over over that or something like that, so uh, whatever. Anyways, uh, unfortunately I'm really upset about the Grey Demon. That really does suck. I think if you got like maybe perfect RNG and you got an evasion really early in the match that it could go pretty well for you. Uh, but it's just, it, that one's so tedious and there's so many mechanics to worry about with him just, you know, recover or like infecting you so you can't lifesteal and just different store stuff like that. And he can remove your buffs and everything and he has to be, you know, on the ground instead of flying. It's just, it's kind of just unfeasible. Like it's just not really worth the time and effort that you could put into it to uh, even try to get that. So, 
uh, yeah, if you want to, obviously the RNG is a little heavy on the Halex Demon, uh, as I'm sure you guys have already known because of the way it works and if you've seen Nagato's video. But I don't know. This was fun. I mean, it wasn't like a terrible, a terrible time. It took me an hour and tons of stamina. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video, uh, and uh, you know, I'll see you guys in the next one.